when the black tulips push up out of the soil, so too do the bodies and the gremlins. And they'll invade your house. They'll eat your food. Your flowers will die. All the old gods from every temple will arise. Bones will be lying around. Poisons, skulls, dead folk. Halloween is coming. Halloween is nigh. If you have been at all attentive, you'll have noticed when we open the secret door behind the hidden behind the bookcase that there's a lovely picture of a lady with a baby. But in passing, you might notice something. Now looking around you'll notice that a house is a little bit creepy at the best of times. Keep the curtains closed so that sunlight won't damage the furniture. But as you look around there are plenty of creepy things. Put your hand on the arm of a chair and you'll notice a dog. It could bite you or at least let it nibble your nails while you're sitting there. The desk has Lots of lions, so every time you try to open a drawer, hmm. now there's something. I didn't even know that was in there. And we've mentioned this guy before, our baby dragon. Somebody forgot to feed him. Well, not somebody, everybody forgot to feed him. Even the pretty dancer is saying, oh my, this gives me a headache. There's lions and dogs and dolphins, scary things all over the place. Even the chairs can bite you on the back of the neck while you're sitting on them. Is that dolphin actually biting the rug? It's a lion, and this is the part of somebody holding on to the sword. And even the vase, just a nice pot plant vase, has mythical beasts in bronze and painted. And that's not even counting Voltaire, who's been up there since last Halloween. And just to make you feel a little better, here is a nice fluffy squirrel painting. One of my own, and I hope it'll make you feel a little less queasy. That is until you notice how awfully grumpy Beethoven is. Is it because he was deaf or just because he was grumpy? How about these two? They're fun. You see why I haven't put them beside the bed? Our particular fondness from reading books that show lots of dissected body parts and crystal skulls. This is our normal house. This is not Halloween. The previous pictures, the dark ones, were Halloween. But this is just our house. We just happen to have black upholstered furniture and creepy, creepy things. But what that means is we throw the most incredible Halloween party. We run it for a week and we raise funds for a local charity 
the St. John Ambulance. And you can share our progress as we get people dusted off and ready for show. Not cobwebs, of course, we won't dust them off. Good Lord, it's taken us about five years of neglect to get the cobwebs ready in the bathroom. I'll show you that as we go. Isn't it the truth? that this kind of neglect takes years in the making. Years. Every spring we say, we must dust that chandelier. And every spring we go, let's do it after Halloween. 